What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a brand new Warhammer video for you guys today. And as you can see, we currently have control of a gigantic Hydra. So guys, today we have gone with uh, the uh, Dark Elves of Nagarond and we're going to be using these guys to fight against some dirty normal humans. And over here, we have the absolutely terrifying Cabiterus, I believe is how you pronounce it. And this thing is absolutely horrible horrifying to look at. It's like they turned a war hydra inside out. And up here we have our champion. His name is Malekith himself, and he is on his big black dragon seraphim. So guys, without further ado, let's get into this battle and see what we are up against. So like I said, we are versing just some pesky, normal, boring humans. Here they are over here. And you can see here they've got like a cannon looking thing. Okay, that's... That's very fancy. Is that in range of us? Otherwise, yeah, that is. So we're going to need to start moving. You can see here they've got some great swords, some Demogriff Knights, which are pretty much half eagle, half lions without wings. So we're going to see how these guys fare up against our armies. We've got some hand gunners over here, some bowmen, some more of the Demogriff Knights, and they are lining up everywhere. But we should be right. We're going to send our big boy Hydras and the Camiterasus. What is it called? War Hydra and the Carubidus. We're going to send those guys straight for them. So let's see how we go. So guys, we're going to send our two big boys on to the flanks of them. And we're going to send our normal units straight for their faces. Now we're going to get these guys to go straight for the Demogriff Knights. Namely because they will be able to counter them pretty well because of their halberds. So they can pretty much just shred through anything really that big. So let's get these guys moving up. We're going to bring Malekith himself slowly, ebb him closer. And you can see here we've got quite a few abilities to use on our enemies. And this will be great to use on them. So you can see here we've got some Soul Stealer. We've got some Doom Bolt. We've got Word of Pain. And we've got Power of Darkness. So we're going to pop these off. We're going to pop this one right now and use that on ourselves. Just give us a little bit of extra uh, Winds of Magic. There we go. Alrighty, and these guys are all going to be slowly moving up and getting ready to fight. One thing that we definitely need to deal with straight away is this little artillery piece that they've got. This Magic Chariot. That is going to deal some major damage to us. Where is that hidden? That was just a big overshot in general. Alrighty, let's take a look. So let's pop this bad boy off. I don't know if we can use it yet. I think we're out of range. We're gonna try and get a little bit closer here and pop it off and the Doom Bolt will be good. So here we go guys, the Kydras and everything is moving up slowly. Let's come across here, move these guys up as well. And these guys should be okay. Malekith is gonna come in. He's gonna go in for a big bolt of noxious gas, I guess you could say. And it's going to just pop off on top of him. Is he going to cast it? He's not going to cast it. He's just going to stand there. Ooh, that was a huge hit onto our infantry lines. But that's going to go off. There we go. And that did, that dealt quite a bit of damage. I'm honestly pretty happy with that. We're going to go here and try and take this thing out once again. Here comes our Hydra. He's going to come straight in. We pretty much want to go straight in for these guys because it's going to allow us to counter them pretty well. Our Death Hag is coming in for the kills. Here we go. She's just going to ram through. Look at that. One fell swoop and she manages to take out four of them. The Demogriff Knights are going to come through and they're going to bowl most of our units over. But we've got the Black Guard of Nagarons coming in and they are just going to start shredding through. We're going to take our... Cabrutus, and he's going to go straight for these units. We've already scared off them, so that's a pretty big win for us. And now we're going to come after the next ones. And that is these guys down here. And let's just see how we can do. Let's see. Come on, guys. Slowly, everything is coming up. Cabrutus is in fighting mode. He's taking out these Demogriff Knights relatively easy. Our War Hag is coming down. There we go. There, you can see there. He is not happy, and our dragon is hungry and ready for some flesh. We have already lost one unit, though. I think that was the one that got hit by the artillery pieces, but we should be more than able to make up for that with our big-ass little dudes. All right, our War Hydra is attacking uh, the Great Swords of the Black Guard of Nagarond. We're going to try getting them from the Demogriff Knights, so we're going to get these guys straight over here. The Death Hag has managed to take on the... 
are the Demogriff Knights. We're going to bring our other one over here, and Malekith is going to go straight for these Demogriff Knights, and we're going to see a big charge here. Look at that. These Demogriff Knights are supposed to be charging. That's not going to be the case today. Today, it's going to be Malekith rolling into them. Actually, we need to get out of there. Malekith has taken a bit of damage from these guys. Holy crap. Let's get out of there. We're going to pop this off. These ones are running off. That's great. We're going to bring these ones up here and help out Malekith. And the Witch Elf is going to go straight for here. Oh my god, look at that, just bowl through. Alright, we're going to get this guy up here and take in on the Hand Gunners. Because once we get up there, that'll be a lot better for us. These guys are over here. We're going to send them straight for these Great Swords. And they should pretty much trade off each other, I believe, there. Alright, Malekith is up and running again. And we are going to... We're going to save that for now. You know what? No, we're going to cast it over here. We're going to pop it right here on these Great Swords. Let's go, Malekith. We do need to take out that artillery piece, though. That is going to shred us. These black guards did get pretty damaged by it, which is the main reason why they're uh, low. So I guess we're just going to send him after here. And the War Hydra, the Cabritus, is actually probably going to go after that. I think we should swap our thingies, and we're going to pop this and use our Murderous Prowess. And you can see here the... Black Ark Corsairs are able to deal with the Great Swords. We're going to send our Halberds after the Demogriff Knights. And the War Hydra here is taking a little bit of damage from... We need to get Malekith out of there. That is going to be big, some big damage from the Demogriff Knights. He needs to get out of there now. Otherwise, we will lose this fight. Come on, Malekith. How much health are you on, big guy? He's on 300 health. I don't know if he's going to get out in time. 128. He needs to get out of there now. And he has died. We are in a bit of trouble here, so we're going to have to be very careful with our units and try and deal with them as best as we can. These handgunners, though, they are dealing some damage to us. That has scared off those dudes, so we should be okay. I'm going to say it's a, going to be a real close one. We're going to get our hag over here and take on this arch lector, and you can see that he just got bowled. Just got absolutely bowled away by that. Our War Hydra is ready to come back. We're going to bring him over here with the rest of our infantry. These guys should help out quite a bit if they're not terror routed. Looks like they are terror routed. We're going to bring him over here. We do kind of want all our units to fight together. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. That boy over there is the main reason why we have not straight up lost this battle yet. Because of him. Now, I don't think we have any more units over anywhere. No, we don't. So our units are rallying. We're going to send these guys straight here. We're going to try and counter their charge attack that they're trying to pull off so we can uh, absorb it for our units. But it didn't look like that was really the case here. These guys are going to be a big damage causer. Oh, gosh. That damage was bad. That's all right. We should still be able to deal with them. I'm worried about that over there. We need to get our Death Hag over here and dealing with this Arch Lecter, but she just does not seem to want to. And right now, our... Our monsters are really carrying the forces right now. Once this Death Hag goes down, though, we will lose. So we do need to pull her over here to try and group up with the rest of them. And we're going to bring our Cabiterus back over here through these crossbowmen. And we should be able to deal some damage. And we've just sent her into Rampage. She's going to go straight for the Arch Lecter. Now, I don't know if she's going to be able to catch up to him. Oh, looks like she is because this is going to be a good battle. Oh, and look at that. Straight off the bat. Look at that chunk of help just, just disappear. Our Cabritus is going after them. We're going to send him in to help the Death Hag with the Great Swords. Our War Hydra is still fighting. Where is our War Hydra? He's still fighting the Spearmen. We're going to pull out on the Spearmen and just try and deal some... Oh, that is some Holy Fire. That is going to hurt. We just need to take out their Arch Lecter at this stage. If we can bulk up our monsters around our Death Hag, we should be okay. We should be able to sustain this fight. You can see here she is fighting him. She's doing a bit of damage, which is good. He looks like he is running away in fear, which is also another really good sign, but we do need to deal with these archers. Otherwise, we are going to be in a bit of a pickle. And you can see that the Demogriff Knights did come back, but our units are pretty solid at the moment, and we totally, totally forgot about this fire attack that both of them have. He's going to pop it off. Did he pop it? There we go. There's the fire breath on the spearmen. That is absolutely going to scare the shit out of them. Our death hag is... Where is she? She's still fighting the arch lector. This guy, we're going to try and send him over here to try and counter these demogriff knights so they don't charge us. But it looks like we're going to be okay. The war hydra is doing okay. We're going to send him after that. And here come the demogriff knights. Like I said, we do kind of want to counter charge here. Oh, he's fleeing actually. 
Can we get her? All right, we're going to send her into another rampage. That is going to deal some damage there. He should be taking it. The Demogriff Knights are chasing after our Cabritus. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I feel like I'm totally butchering that. We need to get our War Hydra over here, though, and just kind of block this guy so he can't get through. Here comes the War Hydra. How much longer? Engaged in melee. So we need to get him out of there. All right, if we can pull that off. Here we go. He's going to try and bowl through these spearmen. This guy right now is just kind of just playing games with us. All right, he's going to be dead. You can see here the balance of power pretty much shows you how many, what your chances are of winning. You can see that their Lord is scared off. And the War Hydra is doing a really good job of terrifying everything. We're going to bring him over here so we can pop off another Flame Breath. It looks like our Cabridris is being chased off by the Demogriff Knights and he is gone. We're going to pop off a Flame Breath here though and that should be more than enough to deal with these pesky archers. Let's go big guy, come on. There it is, set some humans on fire. And look at that, the camera's shaking, not even able to deal with it. And that is pretty much going to be it for the archers, I think. It's going to be a real close one. I actually don't know where, which way this is going to go. If we can scare off their lord and stop him from coming back, we should have this. It's between the Hydra and a bunch of units. You can see there, there's some great swords over there, but our Hydra is, I mean, he's solidly healthy. We're going to need to, uh, he's running away. I don't think we're going to win this one. I think the Death Hag is under a fire from the archers from the gunman and we would have been able to pull that off if we could have killed him but unfortunately we did not which is a damn shame because i thought we had that with our war hydra and our dragon did just get absolutely taken out so guys that's going to wrap up this video today let's just take a real quick look at the counts you can see here the war hydra did some serious work here at 131 enemy troops killed the demogriff knights though they were the real mvps coming in and just destroying everything as well as their artillery piece so guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know whether or not you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one.